So the Minnesota Timberwolves have fired their head coach, Ryan Saunders, and are replacing him with Raptors assistant, Chris Finch. So let's, there's lots of this, but let's start with Ryan Saunders. Let's start with his hire in the first place. Should have never been hired. I understand it. You know, tragically, I believe it was his father passed away, Flip Saunders. And, you know, they wanted to write, do right by the family, I'm sure. So they want to give the son a chance. But as much as, you know, you want to respect Flip Saunders and he should be respected and all that, rest in peace. It's, it's a professional basketball organization. you got to go with who's most qualified. And Ryan Saunders could one day be an amazing head coach. He could be. He's only 34 years old. But I think it's clear that from the start, he was in way over where he was qualified to be. It was too early for him to be put in as a head coach. And that was clear with how horrible they were last year to where they were to get the number one pick in the draft. That means you were doing something wrong. And then this year, they are the worst team in the league when... Don't get me wrong, not great talent over in Minnesota, but it's not worse than the league talent. Tim, the Pistons have less talent than them. There's a couple other teams that have less talent. D'Angelo Russell's been healthy for a handful of games. Carl Towns has been helpful, healthy for a few. Not a ton, but even a few games from those guys, and you've got the number one pick in the draft. You've got a couple guys that are, you know, uh, Malik Beasley's been playing really well this season. They have enough talent to be better than where they're at, and... Two seasons, or a season and a half in a row of just bad basketball from Minnesota. It's overdue that he was let go. And to be honest, just from a basketball standpoint, he, it wasn't his time to be a head coach anyway. Hopefully one day, you know, as, as he develops more as an assistant coach, gets under some winning systems, winning coaches, he'll get another chance and he'll be great. But he was too early for him. He wasn't worthy of, this, of the opportunity just based on his, you know, experience as a coach at that point. I don't think. <coughs> but... Now that they fired him, they have hired Chris Finch, I believe his name is, which is interesting to me because, as, as I said, Raptors assistant, I didn't read too much into it because, you know, I want to give you the real timely news, but when it says Raptors assistant, I assume that means their current assistant. So that's really weird to me how that could happen right away as the season's still going. I didn't know an assistant coach could leave a team and go to a different team. So maybe the headline meant to say Raptors former assistant, former assistant, that would be would make sense to me, but I would think that they would say former assistant. So I don't know how that works to where you already have a coach that's on another team lined up as you right as you fire a coach that's on your team now. That's very interesting. But for the Timberwolves, I say it's a good move in terms of Ryan Saunders should not be the head coach anymore. But at the same time, this season's lost for the Timberwolves. It's lost in the sauce. But as much as I would like to say, you just got to take it again, get another number one overall pick. That's nice and all, but at some point, you have to at least start to bring in Bring in winning culture, winning ability. And I talked about in my earlier video about the Raptors. Talk about a coach that has a, or not a coach. Talk about a coach that's working for a team that has a winning culture. I talked about, when you talk about organization, the best organizations in the league, I think of Warriors and Raptors. And then maybe the Spurs, just, but not as much lately. But mainly the Warriors and Raptors, just in terms of getting the most out of all their talent. Being able to get guys out of the G League and just bring them up. And, and, and have them play above their level, just play good team basketball, the Heat as well. Those type of organizations, they are winning cultures. So Chris Finch comes from a winning culture, and that's good for the Timberwolves, even though I don't think it's good for them to like, really go all out. Let's be the win this year! I don't think that's what they're thinking on this move. I think that if they're smart, what they're thinking is, He's going to get these guys playing good basketball. He's going to get Anthony Edwards into a good system to where he's able to grow a little bit more. We get a winning culture going to where next year we have another top five pick and we're going to be ready to rock. No more of this bum teams. That's what you need to do. You know, keep trying to you know, develop the young talent. Don't go too crazy trying to go, go all out, play our top guys 45 minutes. We need to turn this around this right now. They should not be on that. They should just be... Let's get this culture going, you know. Even if we're not going to win a bunch of games, let's have it look respectable. Let's have some good ball movement. Let's have good defensive tendencies. And let's just, when we lose, have it be because we have less talent. And we'll be a little bit more respectable respectable out there for the rest of the season. And hopefully the young players will grow a little bit more. You know, guys like Josh Koji, uh, Jarrett Culver, uh, even Anthony Edwards hasn't had the rookie season you would expect. These young guys haven't developed as much as you would hope. I don't put that on the head coach, but he hasn't been able to help. You know, he hasn't been able to... Uh, turn that around. I put that on the coaching staff as a whole and just the organization for drafting them. But as a head coach, when it faults, when I mean when it goes down, you're at fault. And based on his resume, how young he is, I don't think he should ever been there in that position in the first place. That's just what I think, though. Let me know what y'all think. Drop a comment, hit that like, and then subscribe. Please. Yes, sir.